Welcome back to the news for the 14th of July, 2017. Let us get to it, shall we? Uh, starting with some Naruto news for you Naruto fans. There is going to be a an animation, an animated version of the 7th Hokage and the Scarlet Spring manga. Excuse me. So the Boruto anime, um, we're not quite sure when. They said it would be on July 12th. Now they're saying in August. But at some point in the Boruto anime, we're going to get an adaptation of the 7th Hokage and Scarlet Spring manga, which is a story about uh, Naruto sort of training up Boruto and, and all the stuff around him becoming the 7th Hokage. Spoiler alert. So that's pretty cool. They we're going to get that story actually will be integrated into the Boruto anime. If you're curious about it, it is going to be there. So check that out. Um, moving along to some streaming news, Crunchyroll has announced a partnership with NBC Universal Japan. Full title is NBC Universal Entertainment Japan. They're going to co-develop anime together. Um, they haven't announced any titles yet. They have said they're looking for international appeal. I'm not quite sure what that means. I mean, anime has had an international appeal going back since Astro Boy. Um, you know, they've been aware of the need to make sure you know, anime can work internationally. But anyway, um, so NBC Universal Entertainment Japan was also known back in the day as Genion and Pioneer. So when, Penny, so when Pioneer you know, uh, morphed into Genion, uh, they then merged with Universal Pictures to create NBC Universal Entertainment Japan. So yeah, that's a pretty storied connection there. And here's hoping that it will... Um, uh, make some interesting stuff. This is not the first time Crunchyroll has announced a plan to co-produce anime. They uh, announced this back in 2015 with Sumitomo Corporation, and they've invested in more than two dozen anime productions together. So that this is still a thing. Uh, now, to be clear, when we say investment in, it could well be they're just saying, here's, you know, several tens of thousands of dollars, and in turn we get streaming rights, right? But it, you know, Investment can mean a lot of things. It can be very light. It can be very heavy. So still don't know exactly the the extent of these changes, but you know, Crunchyroll is pretty big. They have over a million subscribers now. Can you believe that? Um, speaking of uh, the, the future of anime, Hideaki Anno has announced a new program to train more young animators. He's starting a new company called Project Studio Q, along with uh, Takeshi Aso, chairman of the Aso Group, and Nobuo Kawa uh, Kawakami, excuse me, who heads Duango. They're going to uh, launch, launch this company to train uh, new animators in Kyushu, the Kyushu region of Japan, which is outside of Tokyo. About 87% of Japanese animation studios are in Tokyo, and it creates a bit of a uh, I don't, maybe a brain drain problem is one way of putting it where if you want to be an animator, you kind of have to move to Tokyo. And they're kind of trying to distribute it around the, uh, the country a little bit more and uh, make it a little, you know, make it so that you don't have to move, which would be kind of nice. Uh, so Studio Kara, uh, Ano's animation studio, will be lecturing at um, the Aso Pop Culture College, which recently opened in uh, Fukuoka. Uh, along with Duango staff will be helping out as well. And um, so that's quite interesting. There was a, a, a video for this on Nico Nico a couple of days ago uh, announcing it, where those three gentlemen all appeared explaining what they were doing, with the uh, mayor of Fukuoka City actually there, which is pretty cool. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. Uh, Anno has you know, been very big about making sure that the anime industry kind of survives. And um, so we'll see if this actually, you know, uh, uh, produces and, and you know, trains more animators, because, hey, that's a, that's a, a good thing. Uh, moving on to some U.S. news, the Castle Cagliostro will be airing in U.S. theaters starting September 14th. It'll actually be airing for two nights, September 14th and September 19th. This will be an English dub streaming uh, screening on the 14th and a uh, Japanese dub on the 19th. With a 7 p.m. local time, uh, that will be a Fathom, a Fathom Events, you know, um, production. So there will be a complete list of theaters co coming on August 18th with uh, tickets available that day. So if you're looking to watch Kageyoshi on the big screen, this uses a, a new print, a remastered edition of the print, 
that was um, made in 2014. So that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you want to see the first Hayao Miyazaki original animated film, that would be where to do it. And that sounds like a, a really crisp print for that would be really nice. So we'll see. Uh, finally, uh, news for some of the um, for some of the older fans, maybe. There's a new Mazinger Z film opening January 13th in Japan. This has been announced previously, but I hadn't come across it yet. Uh, they've got some new visuals up. Um, and here's the thing. It's anime. And that's what the poster looks like. I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. I'm... Hello. Uh, this is going to have a completely original story, a new story, although still uh, with Koji Kabuto, the the main character of the original, uh, will still be there, but they've got this this new story, new Mazinger Z. For those not familiar, Mazinger Z uh, is a classic Japanese mecha series that um, invented the essentially invented the idea of the piloted giant robot, and that has become a, a standard in, uh, in mecha anime ever since. Story career, lots of Mazinger over, over the period, so Another Mazinger film, which is pretty cool. In fact, I believe this is celebrating the um, 45th anniversary, that's right, of the original Mazinger Z manga and TV series. Uh, it'll be a Toei film uh, and Toei you know, produced project. So, pretty cool, some Mazinger coming back. Anyway, that's all the news for this week. Thank you for watching. See you next time.